in this video I'm going to show you a brief overview of Canvas and its functions. When you log into Canvas, either at csufullerton.instructor.com or from your portal, you'll land on this dashboard. The dashboard is going to have any of your active courses, either published or unpublished. Published means that students can access the course. Unpublished means that students do not yet have access. To give students access to your course once you've finished designing it, you can click the big publish button on top of any of these little square icons. This dashboard page also has a hidden menu at the top right. Every time you see three dots in Canvas, that means there's a little hidden menu with extra features. If you click on this one, you'll notice you can view a card view, which is the most common, a list view, and recent activity. You may also notice that your little square icons have a color overlay like this. This is the default setting. If you would like to deactivate that color overlay, you can click the three dots and uncheck color overlay. Next on the right hand side, you'll see coming up, this area is going to notify you of anything that has a due date in your upcoming courses. If I zoom in on this area, you'll notice that underneath the activity name, it'll tell you the course that the activity is for, the point value, and due date. Whenever, whenever students submit any items to this, it will change from coming up to an area called to do. You can click on the item from your to-do list and grade it in the speed grader. Next, if you need to create a new course or create a shell or sandbox, you may do so clicking the start a new course button on the right hand side. If your screen is smaller, sometimes this button appears at the bottom. You may also view grades for all of your courses by clicking the view grades button. Next, I want to draw your attention to this blue navigation menu. Here you'll notice you have an area called account. This is where you can change your notification settings, set your profile, add special files that are accessible to all of your courses, change your settings and view shared content, or set up a QR for mobile login and view global announcements from Cal State Fullerton or Canvas. In another video, I'll show you how to go over your notifications and also set up your profile. Next in the navigation menu, you'll see dashboard, which we've already viewed. The third item from the top on your navigation menu is courses. You'll see a list of your active courses here, but to view any of your past courses, you want to scroll down and click all courses. In this area, you'll notice a list of any courses that are currently active and then past enrollments. Past enrollments is also where you'll find any imported courses from Titanium. Finally, you'll have a section called future enrollments for any upcoming courses you'll be teaching on Canvas. The next item in your global navigation is a calendar. Here you can view any items that you've assigned in your courses, which will be color coded based on course. If I want to view a specific calendar, I can come over to the right hand side where it says calendar and I can click or unclick different calendars to add them to my course calendar. For example, if I want to view Spanish 102 and 472 together, I can click both. I can also change the color of these to more easily identify them by clicking the three little dots in the hidden menu. For example, I could change this one to a brighter pink to make it easier for me to see. Next at the top, we'll go over how to change different things in your calendar in another video about how to access and add events to your calendar. For now, just know that you can view it in weekly, monthly, or by agenda for upcoming items that you need to do or that are coming up in your course. You can also click the plus button to create new events or add signups, which we'll go over in another video. Next, you'll have inbox where you can message your students and history. The inbox functions much like um, any messaging system. I'll also review that in another video. The history is something that's interesting and easy to access. It will show you any of your latest updates. So if you ever have something that you want to check or you've changed recently and you want to quick quickly access it, you can do so from recent history. For example, I may have viewed or made changes to my general course schedule. So if I want to go back to editing that, I can click that really quickly and I don't have to go search for it in my courses. Next is something that's really cool called Canvas Commons. You can search this for templates or other items that you may want to use in your courses. 
For example, there are Canvas support resources for students and a Higher Education Master template that will help you quickly set up a Canvas course. Next, you have Canvas Studio. This is a place where you can upload videos and embed quiz questions. Finally, you'll see Help. You get to see the wait times for Canvas support. You can, you can chat with Canvas support as a student or as faculty. You can contact their hotline, or you can report a problem or a bug that is happening on Canvas. Next, you'll see you at Fullerton, which is for students, and ask your instructor a question, which is also for students. There are also COVID-19 resources, which will take you to the CSUF coronavirus resources page and training services. This training services portal is extremely helpful. If you click on it, it will take you to a training services portal. You can start a tutorial that will take you through different Canvas training offerings and view how to use Canvas and the different things that it offers you. I really recommend exploring some of these to see how to better use Canvas, Canvas Calendar, and different things that you can do. Thank you so much for joining me today. This has been a quick overview of our Canvas functions. Check in for more videos on our FDC YouTube page.